what we do here is go back, 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 back. back. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of LV Techs. This time around, we're gonna be showing you how to machine a rotor on a brake lathe. And we'll tell you about the different steps involved, different components that we're gonna use, and a few tricks along the way. So to tell you about the different components you're gonna need and use, we're gonna go with Sean. Take it away. Hi, we're gonna be going through the parts and components on securing a rotor on a brake lathe. Alright, the shell, spring, cone, and the shell work together to apply clamping force on the rotor on the lathe. Here we have the spacer, and then after the spacer, we put the nut. So we're here at the lathe, and what I'm about to show you is how to properly mount your rotor onto the lathe so you can begin your machining. So here's what we're going to be machining today. I chose this rotor that we've had just laying around. You know, it's pretty bad, so let's make it look a lot better. So, remember those parts we showed you earlier? The shell, cone, spring, shell, wrench, and nut? Well, we're going to use those right now. First thing we put on is our first shell. Next thing we put is our spring. Followed by our cone. Then our workpiece. Now we're gonna put on our second shell. Now we need this special washer. This thing takes out a little bit of um, vibrations from the rotating assembly, so this is always a good idea. Well, it's actually mandatory. Then here's our fancy nut. <laughs> I wouldn't want the screw to rotate the same way because it would loosen if we put any load on it. So, now that that's on snug, we get our big wrench. And where do we, we're going to tighten to the left. Now, before we continue, you might have wondered, what is this piece? This is our special piece that we put on for machining disc brakes. You see, there's two carbide ends, and this is what does all the action. I'll show you what one for a drum brake setup would look like. We have back on our cutting instrument for our disc brake, and as you can see, it doesn't exactly align with the disc itself. Well, we have this piece here, which we can adjust accordingly to whatever design you may have. All right, so that's about where it should be. Now we take this nut and we wrench it down like so. All right, and now that you know how to put your rotor, aka brake disc on the brake lathe, I'm gonna show you how to make sure it's running true. Just make sure everything's all tightened down. Reach over here, turn on the switch. And as you can see, it's not wobbling out of control. 
You do see that there's some warpage on it, and that's why it's over here on the brake blade. Now we just turn it off. We do have our silencing belt just to keep things quiet as we um, chip away at the rotor. Now that the silencing <coughs> belt is on, you're ready to start cutting away at the rotor. Alright, we're approaching the uh, brake lathe. Uh, make sure you put your safety glasses on. Uh, making the first cut. Get the rust ridge, turn the baby on. Loosen her up. Take it to the middle. Go towards slightly touching the back. You want to hear that scraping noise? Just like that. Take it out. Take it back in. Make sure these are set on zero. Tighten it up. And go two notches to the to the right. Same with this side. And we begin. Alrighty, now that you just finished your first cut, we're going to go back in for another cut. You want to be as quick as you can just to make sure that everything's evenly cut. Alright, and just to restate, one notch is a thousandths of an inch, so we turn it two notches, so we cut two thousandths of an inch off. One. And time to turn it on. All right. All right. So now that you've already got a good, nice surface, you're going to want to give it a slow cut just to kind of help with the directional cut that you've been giving it. So in order to do a slow cut, instead of putting at the speed of 14, we're going to do a speed of 10. You can go even slower if you want to. We're going to take it back in. And once we reach the, the innermost part, we're going to turn it one notch. And now we just need to put on the slow cut. Alright, now that you finished your final cut, you want to shut it off. Take your silencer off. Give it a good look. And you see, smooth and ready to be applied onto a vehicle. Here's our rotor. Here's our finished product. As you can see, it is all nice and smooth and we took all the rust spots off the friction area of it. So it's ready to be applied to the vehicle 
<laughs> you took it off, bro. Alrighty, guys. Thank you.